just making my way up to Morley's Quarry. There's a little horse in the field, a little lake, some obvious ruins there. Oh, look. Weather's not too bad today. Let's hope the rain rolls off. He's coming to say hello. Hello, boy. Lovely to meet you. You sound a nose. I like your field. Probably see you on the way back. I've got to Molly's Quarry and unfortunately it's private property so I gotta get permission before I can go on the land. But you uh, in the distance is Molly's Quarry in the ancient Welsh landscape. Look at it, so beautiful. One of the reasons why I love my home country of Wales. And in the distance over there is more ancient ruins. I'll take as many pictures as I can and then I'll get some permission um, and go a bit close up. Well, I knew, I thought, well, if I get it, I want to see it. So there it is, an old quarry. Old ice quarry. Bit out of breath. Beautiful. An obvious blockwork structure. Unbelievable. It's absolutely massive here and the blocks are huge. I don't know if you can see it. It's a windy up here. Sorry. Maybe a legend castle with a god. Oh wow. Looks like a carved face there. Excuse my um, heavy breathing, I'm just a bit excited. Tell me that is a natural formation. I think not. A bit closer. This place is absolutely breathtaking. Such like a magical atmosphere, mystical. This was definitely something ancient. I can feel it in my bones. Stone. I don't know what it is to be honest. Slate. Okay, this place is so big, I don't think I'll fit it all in one video. So I'm going to have to come back. Maybe in the springtime. It's not so cold. Glass wheels here with little platforms. Look at that, like, wow. It's like a uh, decorated rock. See, 
it to be like a fire place, a fire area. Look how big it is. You can see where the fire has discoloured the stone. And I walk around, I think, there's a big puddle there, but more a little mini lake. It's so wet up here. So I've got to be careful. Don't slip and break something. Because I'm on my own. People know where I am, so if I don't get back, they'll <laughs> look for me. <laughs> so what always wise to do. This is that decorated stone. You can see where it's like carved or moulded. Another platform. I could spend literally the whole day up here. And I wouldn't even bat an eyelid. Uh, amazing. Look at that like triangular rock. That's not natural. I know it's not. Look at it. It's like a big ancient ca castle ruins or something. How amazing is it? Let's walk around this way. My hands are like ice. It's like winter time here in Wales. And I'm lucky that the uh, rain has held off. Because it was raining as I got here. And it's really windy, so I'm sorry about that. But I might be a witch, but I can't control the weather. Instantly, anyway. <laughs> Wow, all the rocks and the ruins, definitely something. Made. Giant made, otherworldly being made, mystical being made, whatever. This is definitely something mystical. This place. Sorry about the wind. Sorry about the wind. Like I said, it is Wales in the middle of winter. It is to be expected. I'm just going to show you this floor. Tennis or whatever you want. Absolutely outstanding. I'm just walking around here now. Turrets, look all around. Definitely a story, um, building or levels, whatever you want to say. This place just goes on for miles, and it is absolutely massive. So whoever lived here, or whoever lived here, were quite big. Going by the rocks and the size of the rooms and everything. They gotta be about, I would say the floor levels. About 15, 20 foot. Mini giants. I don't know, I'm not an expert, I'm just learning. It reminds me of the cave that I found at Pembroke Beach. Because it's quite similar stonework and um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Features. I could stay up here all day, it's amazing. My battery's got midnight. Area 
Blackbird. If we could see him in the sky, that's a um, sign of something spiritual nearby in um, ancient Celtic mythology. Maybe it's this place because it is magic, absolute magic, and I just feel so at home. I'm going to touch a rock. I won't take anything back with me though because I don't want to jinx myself. Touch a rock, my hands are freezing. This is a rock I'm touching. Land. Oh, the energy from this place. I can feel it. Oh, wow. Look at the stone work with it, block work. Coloured paint or rendering or I don't know. Absolutely fantastic. Rocks, rocks everywhere. Blocks. I'm just gonna go over here. was really wet as well. Oh, so glad I came. I was at in and in this morning because of the weather, but I thought, you know what? I'm going. I'm going. Look at that hexagonal. Oops, nearly went then. Rock. That's not natural, I know. I'll jump down there. Oh. A bit closer. I'm going to turn my camera off and go back because it's starting to rain. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a couple of them, all different sizes. And that, my friends, your little star beams. Is more ice than a fossil castle.
Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. There's lots of different pictures showing all the different types of block work and rock work. Um, a lot of stone carvings, mostly faces. I noticed that many of the faces look like um, elongated skulls. And a couple more things I thought that was worth mentioning. Um, I don't know if you heard the voice that I captured on the video, but I just wanted to say that there was no one else around, only me, which I thought that was a bit odd. And as I was walking away from the place, I heard like um, music, like ancient instrumental music, um, with voices in um, the music. It sounded like um, old voices singing. So I just thought I, I'd mention that. I thought that was a bit strange as well. But um, thanks again. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Peace, strength, love and light to you all.